Even though it's a standalone application, the workflow in Revoice Pro is pretty much the same as in the Vocaline plugin, at least for the functions that the two have in common. Of course, Revoice has additional features as well, but their operation should also be familiar to anyone who has any experience with time and pitch editing in DAWs or other programs. In Revoice, each type of edit you perform is called a process. The processes are APT, which stands for Audio Performance Transfer, Doubling, and Warp Editing. APT is the equivalent of what Vocaline does, but in addition to time aligning, it can also match the pitch and level of the original as well. By default, only time alignment is enabled. When you create a new session in Revoice, you'll be presented with the Revoice main window with three tracks. The first two are the same as the tracks you saw in Vocaline. The top track is the guide track, which will contain the source audio, captured or transferred in from the main DAW. If it's an APT process, the second track will be the dub track, the replacement take, the one that's going to be aligned to the original source recording, also captured from the main DAW. The third track is the destination track for the rendered audio, the output track. When the processed audio has been rendered, you can audition it and edit it further in this track before transferring the finished audio back into the main DAW. Below the waveform display in each lane is a smaller lane. This is the process control track. Here you can set the range of the process and access the settings for that process. This is where Revoice offers its much greater fine tuning control over the algorithms that perform the automatic processing. You can have multiple processes applied to the same guide track, choosing between them via a right click in the process control track. You can create a new process via the new process window which can be opened with a right click on a process control track or with a shortcut, the B key. You first choose the process you want. Then you set the processing range, the section of audio you want to apply the process to. If you've selected a track by clicking on it, that can be chosen as the process range. Better, however, might be to select a playback range up top and use that instead. If the playback range track is not visible at the top, you can enable it from the preferences. You can choose to process sections of audio of whatever length you want, but SynchroArts recommends working on shorter sections, or phrases, at a time, typically around 30 to 60 seconds, for the best processing efficiency. Keep in mind, you can also manually adjust or readjust the process range limits by hand by shift-clicking and dragging on the ends of the process control block after the process has been created. The Presets menu lets you select the specifics of the processing, and you can create your own presets as well. But you can also tweak the process settings and redo each process at any time, so what you choose here initially is not necessarily final. Next, you choose the inputs for this process, the guide track, and if it's an APT process, also the dub track, and then the output track. When you're all set, hit New Process, or the N key. The analysis and processing is done, and as soon as you hit Play, spacebar as usual, the audio will be rendered and auditioned. Rains came through my window today, the wind it blew my senses away. I'll continue this overview of Revoice in the next video.